back to my channel. I'm here today, as you can see, with an unboxing video. I'm really new to YouTube, so the first thing that I wanted to do was get myself a ring light. So that's what this is. It's a 19 inch ring light and the brand is called Newer. I did have a little look at the um, specifications, I checked through a few, looked at reviews. I'm not a pro on lighting so I probably won't be able to talk you through that, any of the specifications really much but I'm just going to show you what comes in the box um, and then I'll probably do another video when I've used it a little bit and I know a little bit more about it. I'll give you an opinion of what I think it's like, how to use it and everything else. As you can see from the logo on the front, I got this from Amazon. Originally I was only going to spend about £30, £40, but then the more I thought about it, the more I thought, let me go for a little bit more expensive because once I get into it, I might then want something that's a bit better. So I thought rather than buying one and then down the line buying a more expensive one, I'll just get a little bit more expensive one now. So with regards to lighting, this wasn't expensive at all. Ring lights aren't generally that expensive. It was £135 and I had a little um, voucher on there as well so I think I spent £120 because the voucher was like £15. So I haven't actually opened this yet at all. As you can see, style tape's still on it. It literally came last night so I haven't even looked at it. So far with my videos, I've just been using natural light so that's what I've got going on right now. I've just got the window there. It is quite a sunny day so there's quite a lot of nice light coming in um, but I wanted something just to make it a little bit easier so I can film at all times. Um, so from now on, hopefully my video game will step it up a little bit. I have scissors and I have a knife. So let me get into it and I'll sort you through everything that's in it. Lots of paper. Ooh, okay, so we've got a box in a box. It wasn't actually in when this was delivered. So they actually left it outside. And I was a bit like, ooh. So if it had it have been like torrential rain, it would have probably got a bit ruined with it just being in cardboard. <clears throat> so that's good. Okay, another box to open. That's the brand name as well, newer. So that's the brand that it is. This is the bag that it comes in. So we've got a box. This I imagine might be the stand. It is. Ah, there we go. Oh, I <laughs> got his car. Okay. Ah, okay. So that's the stand. You have a little tightening knob there. You've got these three here to adjust the height. Yes, so that all seems nice and simple. That's the little box of accessories. And this is the actual ring light. Oh, and you do get a little, well, I'm guessing this is instructions. Quick guide, let me get that out just in case I need it. Okay, so it is just one little leaf open, so it is very brief. The reason I spent a little bit more as well was because I liked the idea of having something a bit bigger, and um, something that emits quite a bit of light. So hopefully this is gonna do that. So you've got a little on off button there some little dials and it actually has a little screen just there. Ooh, so this is the little remote that it comes with and this is, so this isn't for adjusting the lighting. You do that with the dials on the back. This is for like, if you want to take a picture and if you can like press record for it. So it goes like straight to your phone. So like if you're doing something on your phone, you've got a little, here's some video as well. So yes, yeah, so that's a Bluetooth little remote. So I think that would come in handy for like TikTok. So that was really fun. I, re I wanted one with like some kind of remote. A few cables. Okay, oh, okay, I guess they go together. Yeah. So we've got a UK plug. So that was going there. That will go into the ring light, I assume, into the plug. Great. This is the phone holder. I'm not sure if you can hold it lengthways and widthways, but um I'll find out. I'll have a little go with that. And this is the little part that you would put your camera on. When I was reading the reviews, a lot of people did say that the stand isn't the most sturdy thing. So I don't know if I will put the camera on there. Probably not because it's my boyfriend's camera and if I break it, well, I would have to replace it. And the reason that I'm borrowing his camera is because I can't afford one. So what I think I'll probably do is have the camera on its own tripod as it is right now, um, behind the ring light or in front of it or however it is best. It's still good to have because if I do end up trusting the stand, I can put the camera on it. So that's great. I don't like plastic packaging. I really think 
in this day and age we should be using alternatives either plastic that you know does degrade somehow but not by water however i am pretty pleased that there was some kind of plastic in there just because if it had rained it wouldn't have got ruined the bag would have got wet the stand would have got wet but everything that was electrical was actually in plastic so that's good my bag is um, pretty basic which is absolutely fine there's a little carry handle on there which is great it's very slightly padded not really a lot so i would still say be careful with it because i think it is quite breakable but the reason i went for this one specifically and i will put a link below the one that i went for i've seen some of these where you can do like cool light and warm light but you this comes off and you have to change the um i don't even know what this is called you have to change this whereas i thought that's a faff and i also wanted one that did different colors just you know so it's more versatile because um i'm a dancer and i perform it and i'd quite like to put some like fitness workout videos out as well so i thought it might be really fun to have a few different colors um, and also you know if i'm doing anything stagey or performer wise it might be nice to like have a few different colors rather than just natural kind of vlog daylight sort of lighting so this i believe does cool lighting and warm lighting but it just changes itself i'm guessing you change it with the dials um and it also has quite a few colours and um, I mean I don't know if that's got anything to do with showing you the colours but um it's supposed to be colours so let's see oh, oh so that you can oh you can really make that wide then maybe that will make it more sturdy this goes on here hello this little notch here looks like it needs to go twist the whole way out because it goes into that hole there, so that will obviously tighten it. So I'll take that out, put it on there. So that will go in now, and then I'm just twisting it back again to hold it in place. This one must do, because if I'd have let go of that, that would have gone. So it's on there. Um, another one of the features that I really liked on this is, um, and lots of ring lights do this, but your cheaper ones don't, is I wanted to be able to tilt it the whole way forward. I'm quite a crafty person, so at some point I might want to, you know, do some craft videos. Um, I also have a small little crafty macrame business, so I will also be using this to take nice photos of those, and quite often they are kind of like down flat. So that's gonna really help, and I can take the picture through there, really tighten that, because I don't want it to like suddenly fall for, okay, that feels nice and tight. It's less the base actually that feels unsturdy, and it's just this little bit here. Maybe if I tighten it more though. So I'm just going to plug it in. Quite a long cable, which is good. I think that goes in there. Hang on, let's try it then. Oh, okay. There's a little one and a two. Oh, oh, maybe that's, maybe you've got a battery in it. So basically, I think, I think you can use it battery operated and um, you would switch it to this one for battery. That's what I think. And this one to use the plug-in adapter. So it's, I guess, if you haven't got PowerPoint, I probably will not use that at all, but it's nice to know that you can use that. So that's good. I guess if you're like a photographer on a location shoot, that's really helpful. Okay, so there's a few little mounts in here. I'm gonna try, that's for your camera. And then I think that just will just screw on. So there's a screw hole there. So it's this way. And there's a screw hole there so that it's that way. And then, oh, there is a little, Thing there so you can move that kind of so that's nice to know and kind of get get a good angle it has a screw hole in it but um it looks like it just slides in in the back you put this on by sliding it in there and then screw it all the way down to keep it keep it on there so let's switch it on you've got a little screen at the top with the dials it's going up oh okay I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to bring it all the way down to 10%. That's the lowest it goes. And then that's it. 50%. Just there is 80%. That's 100%. I've got my face next to it so you can see. You can change it from white. It's all the way. And then that's like the orange setting, I guess. Um, so you're going to be using your phone on it a lot. There is a little USB slot there. So you can have this plugged into the mains, pop your um, phone charger in there and have your phone charger up there on charge while you're filming. And if you've bought this to use more with your phone, I actually think that's great. I think that's a really great feature. It's one of those things that I wouldn't necessarily think to look for, but 
that would be really helpful. I don't know how to get it onto the colours. What does it say? <laughs> like, there's no other buttons. If you click them. Oh, oh I did it. Look at that. Oh, look at the red. Oh, red face. Ooh. Okay, that was on 10%. Let's take it all the way up to that's 100. Oh, that is great. So jazzy. Mmm, I'm going to turn my little studio into the stage. Oh, so that actually goes through all the colours. Oh, <laughs> from him. I'm blue, dabby, 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 dabby. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, uh, let's keep going. This dial on the right, if you press it, you go from the white light, which you can alter with the other dial. So you alter this one, or you can probably see in the mirror. So if you alter this one, you go from white and the other way goes to the orange light. And then if you press that one, that goes onto the colours, and then this dial takes you through all of the colours. And the dial will dials from like 100% all the way down to 10. Oh, okay, so that's actually really easy. I've just worked that out in five minutes. Okay, the stand seems fine. It's just this little part here that just seems a bit rickety. It's just not very tight. It would be better if it actually like screwed on properly. But what I'm going to use it for, this is ideal, and I'm really, really happy. I think it's going to be lots and lots of fun. I guess the only thing is, is like if you wanted to bend this forward and you've got your camera on it as well, I feel like that's where it kind of feels a bit unsafe, I guess. But I mean, really the stand's still right. It is just this bit. Even though that's tight, you can still like move it. Like, the bits inside, the screw bits are metal, but because these bits are plastic, I wonder how long this bit will last. However, I am very careful with my things, so not a problem for me. All in all, I'm really happy with this. It's got all the right parts that I want. It's not too complicated. I've got the colors, I've got white light, I've got warm light. It's nice and big. I can put my phone in there, I can put my camera in there. There is a little remote for taking pictures um, and you can charge your phone from it as well. There's different heights. The base seems sturdy enough and there's a case. When I use it a bit more, I will, I will do a full rundown of exactly how to use it, how I found it, like more of a review. I put a link to this downstairs. If you want to get the same one, at least you've seen it. It's got the little brand name on there, newer. I'm not a huge brand fanatic, but there's so many ring lights out there that I just thought getting something with a brand name would be a bit of a safer bet. If you've liked this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions of what content you'd like to see from me or what you'd like me to do with this ring like maybe some of the cool colors thank you so much for watching i really hope to see you soon and have an amazing day goodbye